Coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, continue to eject from the sun, and a CME is expected to reach Earth, which means a geomagnetic storm can occur. Because of this, NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center issued a G2 geomagnetic storm watch for Friday night and Saturday night. But G2 watches are not uncommon at all. To put it into perspective, the storm back in May was a rare G5. So what does all of this mean for us in Washington? The northern lights may be visible through the weekend. You may be able to see them if you look at the horizon away from city lights, roughly between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. The closer to midnight, the better. And the farther north you are in Washington, the better, but even then the lights are going to be extremely faint. Also, we may have hazy skies from the wildfires in Oregon and California moving in Thursday night and into Friday. All in all, it's very difficult to forecast exactly when and where the northern lights will be visible. Before you go, be sure to check the Space Weather Prediction Center's 30 minute Aurora forecast. In the King 5 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Ashley Ruiz.